Hey guys, what's up? It's Eli, and I've um, got another video for you today, and we, I like to do these first five things that you need to know. I'm not saying these are the most important five things ever, but these are like first five ones that illustrate really good principles or concepts in a certain kind of paradigm that I think are important for people to really start to get familiar with. So we're going to look at leg attacks today. Um, and the first five that I think are important for you to know are straight foot lock, um, I think toe hold, a knee bar, and heel hook inside and outside. We'll count that as two different ones just so with five is a nice round number. So the first thing we're going to look at is a, is a straight foot lock. And we can set this up a lot of different ways. The way I like to approach it first is like if, if Alex is over here, I like to look at it from open guard first. So um, we're in here and I'm kind of looking to pass. So a way that I like to set it up is I'm gonna to try to push his foot to his butt over here. Once I push that here, it's, I'm gonna let it slip off like that and then I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna to try to get as perpendicular as possible with my forearm to his Achilles tendon. Once from here, I'm gonna step in, kind of crowding him up a little bit. And then as we go to sit down, I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna let my heel drop into his uh, hip right here like this. My foot's gonna hook on this side of his butt over here and I'm gonna to try to touch my knee over here to my heel so that it makes it a little bit tougher for him to try to push my foot off to escape. So I try to cover it up like that. Again, like we were talking about, I'm going perpendicular forearm against the Achilles tendon. I wanna get his toes nice and higher than my armpit like this. And I like personally to go guillotine style grip on it like this. Um, you can go figure four, that's perfectly fine. There's some different configurations. I think this is a really powerful grip. The next thing I'm gonna look to do is I'm gonna take my shoulder laterally to the floor and then start arching back, leading the way with my head and go high elbow guillotine ch choke on it like that. And that's how we get that straight Achilles lock like that or the straight foot lock. To, just to keep continuity off of it, I'm gonna step in and I'm gonna go for that, uh, that straight foot lock again like this. But um, this time I wanna look at kind of stepping over to the other side. So we're gonna do something off of him escaping. If he wants to escape, he's gonna push this foot to the floor. He's gonna hop his hip over like that. Um, whenever he, he goes over and, and starts escaping, then I can start to step cross and back step like this. Now, different ways that we can get into this configuration like this here, this is uh, sometimes called like a saddle position. Uh, that's what I like to call it. So whenever we get to the saddle position, you notice I'm still able to attack the straight foot lock on the far side but I also have access to other things from here. One thing that we can look for from here is I can look to, to wrap in on this. And so this is one place I'm gonna start looking to attack the toe hole, which is one that I mentioned before. So I'm gonna bypass this if I'm not getting it, or I'm gonna go straight over here. To get the toe hold, I wanna get his Achilles tendon in the bend of my arm like this. Once I have that pinched up nice and tight, I wanna go on the top of the foot and then make this kind of a rear naked choke style uh, position on it, or, uh, configuration with the hands. I want to put my head on the back of my grip and I'm going to push his big toe down here toward his calf muscle like this here. And um, so what's happening on the toe hold, and just to give you a better illustration of it, um, I put tape on his toe so you can see. No, that's, that's not why. But um, we get here like this. I'm out of position, but I want to put my hand on top of the foot this way, hold it, and then configure this way. I wanna wrap inside. I'm gonna pull his ankle tight back to me and pull my elbow back toward my lat. My forehead is gonna go on top of the connection and I'm gonna turn and twist this way, pulling this back the whole time, pushing his toe down toward his calf and it shouldn't make it without snapping. So um, then we have now the uh, straight foot lock and then we have the toe hold, different ways that we can get into those things. Whenever I'm looking for the knee bar, I'm gonna look like I'm gonna pass this direction over here, but I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna pull his two knees to the ground. If he plants his feet on the ground like this, I'm gonna back step here this way. Once I back step, I'm gonna sit down right on top of Alex's stomach like this here. I'm gonna grab um, underneath his leg like this, one, and then I'm gonna grab the heel over here, two, like this. Now I'm gonna fall across side this way. Once I fall across side, I'm gonna wrap my two legs, I'm gonna squeeze and pull my heels toward my butt pulling his hip toward me closer. So now I have this extended. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna slide up nice and high, and I'd like to get the flat of his foot pinched between my ear and my shoulder like this. So the rotation is taken out of his leg. Now that I hold here, I'm gonna slide up nice and high this way, pinch my ear toward the ground and extend my hips like an arm bar. And that's gonna hyperextend his knee so there's a good kind of stationary knee bar. Lots of different entries that we can go to get into the knee bar or the straight foot lock or the toe hold, but those are some pretty good ones going from open guard. Now, I mentioned before about the saddle position. And the saddle position can happen different ways. We can even look at getting into it the same way we did the knee bar. 
instead of turning quite as much as sitting down on top of him, uh, I'm gonna go here like this. I'm gonna back step, push his knee through, and drop my hip in this time. Once I drop my hip in, I'm gonna pull his legs over this direction, and now we're in this kind of saddle position. A couple important things about it, I'm stacking my feet down here. It's okay to cross them like this here sometimes, no problem, um, but I do wanna keep this knee up off the ground and not be lazy with it. Again, I could tack the straight foot lock from the cross side leg, but if I'm losing that one here, then this exposes the heel for the, the heel hook that I need. Um, the way that I'm gonna look to apply the heel hook, if it's already underneath my arm, I'm gonna pinch the flat of his foot, pinch it between my tricep and my lat. I'm gonna lean toward it a little bit, keeping this leg up. And then from here, I'm gonna go snuff box here, that's this part of the hand, um, into the uh, outside of his Achilles tendon like that. I wanna gable grip the two hands here. Now, I don't have to twist and pull this across my body. That's kind of a traditional route, but that's not necessary. Instead, I'm gonna to look to push his toes down and in this way here, lifting my hips. So the, the action of it is kind of like those old uh, quick draw competitions, like you see in like old Western kind of competitions or whatever, or old Western films where the guy draws like that. I'm pinching the tricep toward the lat here like this, lifting the snuff box up and pushing the elbow back. That takes his toes back this direction here. So it's that direction, that's what he gets it. This would be the inside heel hook like this. Now, what would the outside heel hook be? Outside heel hook would be well, just the opposite. So what we would look at from that is what if I pass this leg or this leg winds up on the opposite side of me and then we wind up in this really, uh, this is an extra nasty kind of uh, leg configuration here. So I have his leg uh, trapped out this way. So a good way to hit the, the outside heel hook from here is just to reach back. Again, I'm still thinking about pinching my tricep toward my lat, getting the flat of his foot, and still getting that anatomical snuff box underneath his Achilles tendon. From there, I'm looking again to push uh, down with my elbow and my, tr my lat toward his butt, and then lift up this way in the direction of my thumb with the gable grip intact. And it's a really nasty uh, pressure on the outside of the knee. Each one of these does kind of different damage. Obviously the knee bar attacks the knee kind of directly on the same way that you would attack the elbow on a, um, on a straight arm lock. On the straight foot lock, you're attacking typically the ligaments in the top of the foot or even some of the bones and you're looking to kind of snap some of that stuff on the, extended, uh, on the extension of it. Uh, on the heel hooks, most of the time the heel hooks will go all the way up and attack the knee because of how it's kind of spiraling up the chain on the, the leg here on the extremity. So anyway, this is what I consider the first uh, five leg attacks. Um, maybe in order of importance, maybe not. Um, lots of different ways to get into them. This is not the uh, end all be all, but anyway, I hope you like them and I hope this helps a little bit. And uh, keep watching guys, uh, like, subscribe, turn on notifications because subscriptions don't really mean that much. Um, long story. Thank you for watching guys, I appreciate it.